Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are listening to Straight Facts with OG Booby Black. If you're looking for the wisdom, knowledge, and facts from the OG, then lock in with us. This is all from the OG perspective. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, you know the business ain't you know the difference. Real nigga shit, bitch nigga consequence. Right now, today we in the motherfucking building, Straight Facts Podcast. Another episode with another real one. You heard me right now, today we got my motherfucking dog. You heard it's me? So Little young nigga that's coming up in the game. Y'all heard of him. You heard me? Y'all know how you get out. Rob 49, what the business is, man? Tell the people what's happening with you. You heard me? Little child, man. I'm chilling, man. Getting away from Hurricane Night out here in Houston, man. Had a nigga on my dog, OG. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. (laughs) Hey, man, I see you got a lot of shit going on, man. But you know the main thing I like? I like that fucking Rolls Royce truck. I mean, what made you an idea just to come up with a song like Rolls Royce truck? Man, you like Rolls Royce truck? Man, I don't like it. I love it. I'm telling you the motherfucking truth. I'm not just looking at that shit. Look at it. My mama liked that song. I really didn't like that song. My partner, we had was recording it. Um... In Miami, like right. during me getting ready to sign and stuff like that. Right, right, right. We were recording. My partner, like, you know, he from the trenches. Every time he see a Rose Royce truck, he's like, man, look at the Rose Royce truck there. <laughs> oh, he got a Rose Royce doing that. Yeah. We ride one day. We like, man, you gonna fuck for a Rose Royce truck. You a yeah. fucking nigga for a Rose Royce yeah, truck. Yeah, yeah. We in the studio one day. I'm like, he keep playing in the studio, but I see him through the boot. Like, you better stop playing, boy. Nigga, knew you gonna fuck for a Rose Royce truck. Yeah, I just yeah, told yeah, dude, yeah, man, yeah. bring me back. Right, she gonna say, fuck her rules like Chuck. Yeah, yeah, say, see that? That's natural, you heard me? And I tell niggas this all the time, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about people in the game and people that's just getting in this game, you know what I'm saying? I tell them this all the time. Music is magic because you don't know what you're gonna say when you get in the booth. You don't know. I mean, you can have some shit written down, but you don't know the melody, you don't know the harmony, you don't know nothing what's gonna, how it's gonna happen. But when you put that shit together and it come out to be a, a project and you see what you did, you see the magic of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I let people crazy. know all the time, man. Man, music is, is it's a beautiful thing. And sometimes we we make music about the simplest shit. Mm-hmm. Like you said, the Rolls Royce truck. Your mama like it, but you ain't like it, you heard me? Yeah, but you got to get the people to judge on what they like, you heard me? You got to yeah. put that shit out there. Go look at the views of that bitch and go look at the comments. They yeah. fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? I was just saying yeah. that, man. I be on your music a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I see I, I see you're coming up artists, you know what I'm saying, for my city, you know what I'm saying? And I support all the young niggas that's trying to get it in. All the all the young niggas that's getting in. You know what I'm saying? They don't have too much, too many mainstream artists that's from New Orleans that just come from New Orleans and they blow. You know what I'm saying? It's either something happened to them, they'll get into some some foul shit with the police or they'll get into some violence with some niggas and lose their life or, you know, some shit like that. And I just, I'm just the type of nigga that I just know good music. And I know you have good music. You know what I'm saying? And your music going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You just got to stay focused. You just got to stay, con- you know, consistent. I'm talking about every time I look on, on a motherfucking YouTube channel, I see some shit up there. You heard me? With you. You got your own little team and, 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 the, and the people see the team. They look at the video. They see how niggas rock behind you. They do their shit. And they let you be the leader. Mm-hmm. That's what I call a nigga that run a section. You heard me? That's what I call a nigga that, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that have strength, you know what I'm saying, with his motherfucking team. When you see a nigga got his team together, that when you know a nigga strong. You heard me? So tell the people, what what, what, what you what you got coming up? Because I know they're looking for more shit from you. What you got coming up new? You know what I'm saying? If it's a project, if it's a single, if you don't even want to give it all to them. Yeah, just I, I let got the people you. know a little something. Right now, I'm just working on getting my project out. I don't, I'm calling my project Vulture 2. Vulture 2? Yeah, it's like an introduction to the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because when you start rapping, you doing shit for the city. Like, yeah. So my yeah. first three projects was for the city. But the the approach I took on them was like, if you like one of these songs off here, all right, I'm going to keep rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The second tape, one of the bitches called Fire. So the third tape was that one like, yeah, I'm solidified. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So the first tape, Full Guy, that I just dropped, now I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it on like a world platform. Okay. I know when I drop Full Guy, the world ain't like the whole world ain't gonna listen because you know what I'm saying? The game blew up all crazy yet. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. to get a couple of ears on me. So this next tape, I'm getting one of them buzzes. So the tape after that gonna be like that. Yeah, solidified. Yeah. Don't play yeah, with yeah, me. yeah, yeah, definitely. Say, you know what I'm saying? You have a lot of young cats out here that just making music and they looking for, they looking for, you know, what you call. They're looking for the for the for the give you know the streets to 
to, to, to validate them on the, on the shit that they say. Yeah. And then to validate them on their music. If, yeah. uh, if, if I'm a bitch ass nigga and I'm rapping some gangster shit, that makes me a gangster because yeah. the streets listen to the gangster sh music that I say. But yeah. really, I look at it like a lot of niggas be really stressed out. You heard me? Yeah. And they be having shit on their mind and they sell a lot of that shit in music. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they get it off their chest. So it really be a lot of motherfuckers like really against themselves. But <laughs> in your music, when I hear your shit, I know your shit be for the motherfucking streets, dog. Yeah, exactly. You hear me? Yeah, I know your shit be for the streets. I like your ad libs, and I like when you do your dubs. When you say the same thing twice, let a motherfucker know what you say. You hear me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's good music. You dig? And I'm gonna tell you something. They have a lot of competition out here. Yeah. They have a lot of competition out here. When I speak out here, I'm not talking about in New Orleans. I'm talking yeah, about in the world. world. You know so. what I'm saying? So what you think about the competition? And I mean, this the, this the, this the, because we all got got people that we that we look up to. We all got people that we like their music. Yeah. We all got people that we, we, we salute, you heard me? But what do you, what do you as an artist, Ron 4-9, think of the competition that's before you? I'm talking about all these young gunners that, that, that have, that got more shit going than you got, yeah. that you gonna face them. What do you think about that? I really be thinking of it like, I don't even be trying to look at niggas, because if you look at <laughs> niggas too much, you'll yeah. find yourself in a hole feeling like, man, I'm failing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. before I was even rapping, like you on Instagram every day looking at a nigga and he's shining, you broke, you going you gonna feel like you failed already, but you 19, 18 years old. Right, right. So I'm right, trying right. not to even look at rappers cause them niggas be 38 and shit, like Still with the trying. buzz they got, but uh -huh. my music longevity. Cause right. real shit gonna last, like you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. really the only nigga I really in competition myself, like just like I said, them tapes, well, I just told you, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing it for the world now. So all I'm looking at is them old tapes. Make them old tapes go to these new tapes. So I'm in competition with them old tapes and myself. Yeah, but you you know you know something was good about it? This was good about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you might not see this. You have shit going on with yourself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have nothing going on with themselves. A lot of people can't come and talk about how they got their plan mapped out. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say. Old, old school shit. They say nothing feels better than when the plan come together. And when that motherfucker come together, guess what? Man, it's gonna be held to kill the cabin. I'm telling you the truth. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Not because if we plan, plan, if we plan yeah. before we act, we gonna always make make that motherfucking right moves. You know what I'm saying? But if we just act and don't plan, man, we'll put ourselves in a lot of fucked up situations. And what you just, what you just illustrated to me about how you have things in order, shit, you, you destined for greatness, dog. You know what I'm saying? You just got to follow your path. You know what I'm saying? You can't let nothing get in the way of that. I don't give a fuck if it's the boulder, a wall, whatever the fuck it is. You got to get over that shit. No obstacle can stop you. Because once you let an obstacle get in your way and it hold you down, an obstacle could be bitches. See them bitches? They could be an obstacle. Man, right, niggas. Man. See, see, niggas, I could tell Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I could write a motherfucking book about niggas. Cause I done been around every nigga in the motherfucking world. I'm talking about cutthroat slime ball. I'm talking about one nigga one day he a gangster, the next day the bitch a punk. Man, I done been around all kind of motherfuckers. So a nigga can't tell me about a nigga. You dig what I'm saying? But see, bitches and niggas, they be your downfall. You gotta always fuck with people that have your best interests. You know what I'm saying? Like when you pulled up to this bitch, I have so much, so much respect for you as being a young nigga, dog. Cause you ain't pull up to this bitch with no game. You come and see OG, you heard me? You pull up to this bitch with your mama, dog. Yeah, his mom in the background, you know? His mom in the building with him, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? I respect shit like that, yeah. you dig? Because it's family. I hate that you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate real that talk. so much. I hate you so much. You, get on you know what? She gonna be the one that gonna keep you on your motherfucking toes at all times. I time. ain't know though. Yeah, that's your bodyguard. When I tell you that's your bodyguard, I ain't talking about the one that's gonna run out with the gun. I'm talking about the one that's gonna tell you what it is, you heard me, before you go out there in the street and get fucked over. She got wisdom. She been here before you. A lot of things you trying to learn, she probably have forgot, just like me. You know what I'm saying? But um, one thing about Rod 49, you stay pointing that finger when you're doing that video, you heard me? That nigga do this all the time. He let you niggas know. You know what I'm saying? And he be coming you. with that smoke. He be coming <laughs> with that smoke, dog. I want all y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you you tuning the Straight Facts Podcast right now, if you don't know nothing about Rod 49, man, go follow him on Instagram. Go follow him on Twitter, YouTube, wherever the fuck it is. And find out about this young man because he's destined for greatness. And y'all gonna be hearing a lot about him. Sure. So just remember when I told you this here on the first time on Straight Facts Podcast, like I told a lot of motherfuckers about COVID. They didn't even know what the fuck COVID mean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I told them about COVID. How many years this was ago? Like about 
about a year ago, right? I told this mother, oh, that's Captain Kirk who I'm talking to in the background, bitch. I'm not talking to not no nobody. I'm on this bitch. That's Captain Kirk I'm talking in the background. But um, I told a motherfucker with COVID, about COVID. And, and you had people in the comments saying all type of bitch ass shit. You know what I'm saying? It was before I started the podcast. I don't want to lie. They told me what you, but I told them, COVID stands for Certificate of Vaccination ID. The reason why they put 19 on that bitch because that's when it came in the United States in 2019. But Certificate of Vaccination ID is in power right now. You bitches getting vaccinated and you gotta have that motherfucking ID. You show that you've been vaccinated to get on a flight, roll it loud, they want vaccinated people. You know what I'm saying? To go to these big shows, you have to be vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? To, to, it's gonna be sooner or later where you can go in the bank. To get your money, you're going to have to be vaccinated. You ain't going to be able to fly unless you're vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? It's that ID. Certificate of Vaccination ID. COVID. You know what I'm saying? I told a motherfucker about that a long time ago. But I'm telling you bitches about Ride Full 9 today. You heard me? Y'all look for him in the future. You did. Y'all look for him in the future. He made great music. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of strength in his words. He got a lot of strength in, you know what I'm saying? His team, you think he got his shit together. You know, y'all focus on him. So check this out. Now that we're here at the table right now today, tell me, you know, you coming up as a youngster, you heard me? What made you, like, want to just be a rapper? What you looked at TV or, or you seen somebody in the hood? What did influence you to make you want to make music? I'm going to tell you, when I was growing up, I was listening to, to like, Future a lot. Okay. I never even thought about rapping. Yeah. So that cut through shit, future spitting, like, dog them out, t- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like, I'm really living. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying, listening to him. But my partner was rapping. All right, shout out your partner. Who it is? Yeah, shout out Black Migo, man. He about to start rapping again. I'm behind him 100. All right, Black Migo, shout out. Y'all heard what Rob say. You know what it is. But we was in, um, we was in the studio and he was rapping. I'm like, man, that, he was making a song. I'm like, man, that shit garbage. He like, man, you get in here and rap then. Yeah. He's like, go ahead. I, I went in there, made the song. Everybody had love. I went in there, made a song. So I put the headphones on. At first, I'm rapping about my life. Like, that's I was going to be one of them type shit. rappers. Like, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? One of them Telling stories, rappers. yeah. Yeah. I made that. It was a storytelling rap. And he, he heard it. He's like, man, are you crazy on here? Like, he started yeah. letting everybody hear my verse. Yeah, he started, um, you say the same fucking thing with Rose Royce truck. You say you ain't like it, but your mama like it. You have to let other people be your music. Yeah, thanks to them. That's you know what I'm saying? You could be your that. biggest fan, but you got to also put that shit out there to let yeah, people see. To. But I had told that nigga, I'm like, um, I'm like, man, I ain't rapping, man. So he used to be calling me, telling me, come outside, I'll get some food. I'm like, fact, you know I'm coming outside, I'll get some food. Yeah. I come outside, he go straight to my studio session. Yeah, my yeah. I said, yeah, you ain't here all day. Yeah, yeah, Make yeah. Put you in it. Right, right, then, right, right. That's why my music, me listening in the future all day, I'm, I'm on that shit to like, I'm cut through. But you don't sound nothing like them dudes. But I'm saying, your sound, the, your the, sound the, the, is. The, the, not the, the mentality I go in the studio with. Right. You going in there with some shit, this what you going to talk about. Yeah, I'm going to talk about straight. Because if I'm listening to The Weeknd every day, yeah, you gonna talk I'm going to try to make. Shit. And it's, it ain't got nothing to do with my life. Right. Fusion made it cool to rap about, yeah, nigga, shit. we really, you know what I'm saying? And we really, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So yeah. when I go in there now, I just be like, yeah. yeah. It's cool but, to rap about what I done really been through and what I done really did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I study music, bro. I, I study music. I study artists. And, and I look for their weakness. Yeah. And I look for their strength. You know what I'm saying? And the strength that you have is that your team lets you be the big dog. You know what I'm saying? And with that alone, it goes a long way because people look at that. See, see, audio and, and, and video is two different things. Audio is what you hear, video is what you see. And when a motherfucker he, hear you spitting that shit and then they see it, it's compatible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They match up. That nigga the truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I look at a lot of your videos and I see that shit. You know I'm like, yeah, man, dude. And then you're not just not talking about no anything. And your music is different. They don't have nobody have a style like you. Yeah. It's different. I mean, who rap like Rob 49? I mean, for real. Like, for his real. voice, his voice, his baritone, what that nigga say, that nigga might be rapping. You go to bottom of your head, that nigga just stop and start talking. I mean, and it should be wrong. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. And I'm going to tell you the crazy part about it. You know who put me on you? Man. 
Yeah. My fucking daughter. Yeah, Akaya put me on him. Akaya wanted him for a party. What the fuck <laughs> is this dude you keep calling? Come down, ride four nine, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm like, oh man, this such and such. I'm here getting a little bit with Nino and them. Man, let me let that scare, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? Oh, but that's hard. my daughters live to your, listen to you all day. They have, as soon as your shit downloaded, I'm talking about them Apple quick. You know what I'm saying? Man, but it's good crazy. when you have fans, dog, that, that you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like it's like the thing right now they have going on today with badges. You know about badges? Yeah, I was just I was just about to get on that badge. That look like it's, that look like that lit. You know what I'm badges saying? Badges is the truth. Yeah, I made five hundred dollars off badges yesterday. I mean, talking about this, I'm just on Instagram and talking. It's the people. The people show you. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? I appreciate you. I woke up this morning and I learned some shit from you. I heard some shit. I might get on that bitch and just go to pe- talk about some some real life shit. You know what I'm saying? I might get on that bitch and just go to talking about some women and talking about their pH balance and shit like that. I'm just talking about all type of shit. You know, they show appreciation, you know what I'm saying? And they buy shit, you heard me, and, and give you money to be like, yeah, nigga, I fuck with you, you heard me? And you'll be surprised how many people show appreciation. <laughs> I'm talking about them motherfucking hands. Hearts, bling, 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 bling. I looked at my shit, 300. Bling, 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 400. Every time I go on there, you heard me? Yeah. And it's good, you know what I'm saying? Badges is I need to show me how to do that, man. I want yeah, to you that. get on there, it's like, it's live, bro. Because people love conversation. Yeah. You know, I mean, some people in the world don't know how to conversate. They got some niggas can't sit at this table with me. Thanks, dude. They can't. I'm talking about they cannot sit at this table with me and hold a fucking conversation. The only thing they know is a few things. And the few things that they know is this the shit that everybody knows. You know, but a, a, a real serious, deep conversation, a lot of people can't do it, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? So I salute the niggas that come, you heard me, that, that have that type of, you know, that mental. You know, that, yeah, that, that mental to come and fuck with this because uh-huh. it's like, yeah, I'm going to go and talk to the OG and I know this nigga going to put me on the platform. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for me and you. I ain't Thank doing you. it for me. I ain't, you heard me? Thank it's for you. both of us because the motherfuckers that fuck with me going to fuck with you. And the motherfuckers that look at me, they gonna look at you, you heard me? Niggas that look at you go, man, what the fuck that nigga OG and Rob talking about, you heard me? That is how it go, you heard me? But look, tell the people how many mixtapes you have out and how much music you done made so far. Man, I done made so much music. I got over like 700 unreleased songs. But I got like, um, I got four mixtapes out right now. Okay. So okay. my next, my next, my next shit really like a project. Like, that's the only thing. Like my last tape, I really was just putting something out because I ain't driving a year. But yeah. this new shit is like I put some thought into it. Like you know what I'm saying? Got some groove on it. Say, but guess what I'm gonna get into? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let the people know this year. You heard me? All right. That vulture movement. Yeah. I mean, who came up with that? Man, my partner that was rapping before me. He came up with that vulture movement. Even when he was so, rapping. so, 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 so you know this thing sprung from New Orleans all the way to Florida. Because yeah. you know Kodak Black yeah. and his crew, they call themselves the vultures now. Yeah. But they used to be the snipers. So I guess they yeah. jump ship to the vultures. I yeah. mean, I don't know if they that them your, your your little sons or what, but I know for a fact <laughs> that Rod 49 was the vulture before any nigga, you heard me? Yeah. I know yeah. this. These you heard me? Sounds. I know this, man. <laughs> and the only thing you got to do is do the history, you heard me? Kodak talked the Vulture thing when he came home from jail. We ain't dissing you, little nigga. We just talking about you, you heard me? Don't yeah. go on no motherfucking um, Instagram and all that shit. Fuck with a nigga like me, dog. Yeah. I don't do that type I shit. I fuck with Kodak. I dude. fuck with Kodak, too. I Kodak. had a nigga. I told him about Kodak a long time ago. I said, man, he got a little nigga coming up from Florida. The yeah. nigga named Kodak Black. Yeah. You know a nigga from New Orleans, dumb as a motherfucker. Nigga said, man, what that nigga do, take pictures? Yeah. I said, nah, man, a nigga a rapper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with him. Him and the little one, they got some shit going on right now. I don't get into none of that shit, but I yeah, did music sure. with him, and I did music with Jack Boy. I did music with both of them. Yeah, for sure, you know what I'm sure. saying? So it is like, you know, that generation. But I'm still talking about the vulture shit, you heard me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That came about through with your homie, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Homie. And all y'all with the V's and, uh, you know, that's the team. And you yeah. dig what I'm saying? Yeah, keep that shit wrapped, though, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, sure. Racket 10 influence corrupt organization, that's called a RICO Act. You dig what I'm saying? And it's, that's what they fucking over a lot of us, you know, young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas that's, you know, getting in there, niggas that's getting money. That's their way of taking us down. You heard? Thanks, dude. It's racketeering influence, corrupt organization, and when you speak and when you speak on something that you are, you're a team. You know what I'm saying? You're an organization. You know what I'm saying? So make sure the vultures get money and keep that motherfucking music. For sure, you we don't even saying? do. I didn't. We don't. 
all out, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the yeah. receipts. Yeah. We, everything I made sure that because yeah, we you young and shit. Yeah. So they the same thing you saying right now. Keep mind, I'm young, but uh, you know you know the background. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I know a little more than them. Fuck you, right? Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? A little ahead of your time. I know yeah. I go. So but, I tell um, them that like, yeah, yeah, we gotta keep this under wraps because it right, is such right, thing as right, what you right, just right, said. Right. Right, man. I mean, they try shit, you heard me? They do shit with the, with they, you know, the little gangs they talk about. Man, this gang shit just came into all this. Back in the, back, back in the, back in the G, when I was coming up, they had songs against that shit, you heard me? Yeah, I don't hear You know, Gregory D and Manny Fresh. So, sure. I see rap. somebody in the water talking about some blood or crap. I'm like, Listen what the to the fuck? rhymes back to back <laughs> that I wrote for the project rap. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga said, when you, that nigga say, that nigga say, um, he said, New York this, California that. He said, some that nigga said, let me see Cali walk through the Cali, yo. They talk, I'm talking about that shit way before your time, nigga. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Gregory D, shout out to your old ass bitch. You know how I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get ready.